Hey, good morning. Are you a parent of a teen or a child that's a fussy eater? Or maybe they're cranky, or maybe they have confidence issues, or maybe they have sleep problem patterns, maybe lack of focus, maybe they're bullies. I don't know, maybe they drink too much Coke or Pepsi. Yeah, we can help with that too. No, really, we can help with that too. Hey, hello everybody and welcome to the weekly Releasing Negative Emotion Show. Check this out, episode number 238. I've been here with John for 238 episodes, helping you with different topics. This month, John, we are doing Kids and Teen Month. So, hello everybody, welcome. My name is Michael Loche. Some of you might know me from my books here, Law of Attraction. And I'm also an emotion code practitioner, and I love deleting negative emotions on your behalf. We're going to explain that today. John, good morning and uh, welcome. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is John Inverarity, Certified Emotion Code and Body Code Practitioner. And yeah, I have a little one of my own. I help him all the time, and I uh, like to help other uh, children, teens as well, with uh, various concerns. So yeah, this uh, month is, that's the theme, is helping the little ones. So um, yeah, should be a, a great series here. If you're watching live, say hello. Yes. Well, I know, John, I helped my friend Julie with her son that didn't like vegetables. You know, some kids, they only like one thing, like chicken wings or fish sticks or something. And, yeah. and that's all they'll eat. You know, when I grew up, that wasn't a choice, right? You ate what my mother made, period. Uh, but I helped her son like vegetables. So she's been giving me pictures of uh, her showing me uh, her son eating salads and vegetables and asking for them. So it could be a food related challenge today. It could be a behavior related challenge. Let us know what that might be for you and uh, say hello in the chat. John, let's do that. But uh, we've got Sylvia Bellini in from sunny and cold London. Hey, Sylvia. Thanks, and if you're watching, say hello. Let us know that you're here. Daphne, co-create life coach, is watching live from YouTube. So hello to you, Daphne. Hello. Yeah, so John, we've got, uh, yeah, we're looking for volunteers. Tell our friends what that means. What, what are we looking for? Yeah, so we are looking to work with your, your children or teens today. And we're looking for two volunteers. So not an adult but you know like sort of around that 16 and under kind of an age and uh yeah you know they've got some concerns uh we can you know list off a few common ones that we've worked with and just volunteer them put their name in the yeah. comments in the chat, we might have to ask a couple more questions right but get us yeah. started so we will be doing yeah. that for you today hey welcome to all of you that are new to the releasing negative emotion show uh, John and I have been here, like I said, 238 episodes, I know. Uh, you can also look at past episodes that we've done going to releasingnegativeemotions.com forward slash live, and we'll show that a little later on today. Hey, real quickly, if you're an emotion code practitioner and you want to know how to identify emotions 100 times faster, you know, with the emotion code, you got to know what the emotion is and delete it by name. But I got a technology or a methodology to identify them. You still have to delete them, know the names, but to collect them much, much faster. The link for that course just went in the right hand side there. Check it out and see how it could help your business. Okay, good stuff. So, John, let's uh, take some few minutes and explain the, the emotion code process. And by then, we'll have some people that hopefully will be volunteering for us absolutely yeah this is what we're working with the emotion code written by uh dr bradley nelson it's a, a book and a certification technique energy healing technique and it's a uh, distance technique and so we as practitioners you know we connect up to your children uh with your permission and we find trapped emotions and clear them out so yeah we act as a proxy uh for that connection so we're certified practitioners and trapped emotions are an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event. So, you know, some sort of frustration, maybe at school, at home, with a sibling, something like that, that can get lodged in the body. And yeah, we use muscle testing to identify these trapped emotions from the chart. So the chart is right behind Michael there. There's 60 of them. So yeah, we use muscle testing, connect up by a proxy. We're asking the subconscious mind 
uh, yes or no questions to narrow it down from the 60 motions down to one at a time and release them. And they're gone. Yeah, we take a magnet. That's how we release it. Magnet goes over the, over the governing meridian. Looks like this. And the whole process surfaces that little trappy motion and releases it, clears it out. And um, yeah, those little balls of energy, they're stuck in our bodies. They act as a double-edged sword. You know, it affects us mentally, you know, that frustration, you know, that we're kind of peeved or, you know, anxiousness. And, you know, it can keep us up at night, you know, uh, contribute to sleep disturbances or, um, you know, just... Uh, you have impact on your personality. Maybe you're like frustrated or angry at your sibling, or your mommy, your dad, whatever it may be. And um, so, yeah, it affects us mentally and physically. So, um, again, two volunteers will look into uh, help some some children or teens. Yeah, and, um, um, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah we would, here's an example, John. I think we can help Daphne. Uh, I have an 18 year old son with depression and anxiety. So, you know, we would say that, you know, through anxiousness or something and uh, we can, so that's a great example. One of us will choose Daphne here, but we'll need another volunteer. And again, we want to do this on your behalf. We're demonstrating today, uh, in addition to the other 230 episodes, um, this time we're showing you how we can work with your children. They don't need to be present. They don't need to know. Uh, like when I helped Julie's son uh, like vegetables, he didn't know that, but he found himself. I also helped another woman that her son was drinking like lots of Pepsi and, you know, Coke and stuff like that and completely got rid of it and never really noticed it. And the mother said, you notice you're not drinking Coke? And he said, you know what? I haven't had one in two days or, you know, that whole behavior. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm resenting it. Yeah. Okay, so John, why don't I work with, uh, I'm just going to put Daphne, oh, there she's on there, work with Daphne's son and kind of illustrate uh, the process. And um, for sure. Yeah. I'll give you a couple comments here. Uh, Sylvia Bellini says, my mother in law said that the first 50 years are the hardest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Natasha Paula Samuel is here. Hey, Natasha uh, says hello. And uh, thanks for the link, Natasha. Shared a link for the muscle testing. And Permelia Parham's here. Hey, Permelia, good morning, bros. Watching from a sunny Parksville on beautiful Vancouver Island. Wonderful. Yeah, the sun is trying to come out here. Uh, hopefully, we'll see it later today. Uh, yeah, I actually have a quick story about uh, helping my little guy, Benny. He's three years old. And just, just recently, within the last, um, well, it was about 10 days ago, he broke his leg on a trampoline. Uh, yeah, really, really uh, traumatic for everyone. And so after that, I, I connected up to him and I said, okay, so are there trapped emotions from, you know, this traumatic event? And there was, there was emotions of uh, terror and forlorn, I wrote it down here. And then I can see he was like really, really frustrated because he can't like walk. He can't like, you know go to the washroom, wash his hands on his own. He can't like run around, you know, he's not mobile. And so he was like super, super frustrated and, you know, occasional little meltdown here and there over the last 10 days. So I'm like, okay, so our trapped emotions associated with this. And there was frustration, you know, obviously fear, which is a big one for a little three-year-old and unsupported. So, you know, kind of like this heavy burden kind of an energy as well. So got those cleared out. And, you know, that afternoon he was like, you know, way different. He was like so mellow and, you know, we sort of just hung out and, you know, ate ice cream, watched Mickey Mouse and read stories all afternoon. And it was, uh, it was pretty good. Yeah. So it can help in, you know, these, you know, acute traumatic times as well as, you know, long-term things like, you know, anxiety, depression, um, with, um, you know, yeah. nothing. Um, or any other event that he might have, you know, that's caused yeah. by him or by other people. That's a great mm -hmm. story. I know even when he was born, you were working on him that young, so. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sleep, skin, um, just to name a couple, just off the bat. Those were tough ones. Yeah, you yeah. for your father. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. So, John, thanks for the story, and welcome, everybody, again. The, uh, one of the last steps, you know, John and I, our job, and it's called a proxy for a reason. We do it for you, is that we have the ability to find out what the emotion is, but that's not a big deal. You found it. But then we're going to delete it for you. And I had to go on my little magnet search. It's just a toy magnet, but it's a real magnet. John has a different one than me. There's no special magnet you need. But this magnet will delete the, the ball of energy. And it almost fizzes like 
um, uh, you know, like a bath bomb or something that fizzes. So I'm just going to create a scenario. So I don't know if I need to know his name, but I'll, I'll let you know if I do. So Daphne's 18-year-old uh, son, here's what could have happened. We haven't started yet, but this is how an emotion needs to be deleted. He might have had an experience in his life where he experienced anxiety or took on someone else's anxiety and never processed it because, you know, we don't do that. And by processing it, I mean by getting, you know, feeling it or crying or talking about it. So it's a held in emotion and it's the size of a baseball and it's like a pimple. It's always there. And sometimes it raises its head and sometimes it's like, oh, good, that pimple's gone. It comes back because it never got deleted. Hence the pimple deleter. Well, not really a pimple, but an emotion. So I'm going to be using muscle testing. That's a yes answer. That's a no answer. And I'm going to start my scan right now. So right now, I have Daphne, mother, the mother, who's given me permission. That's the rule. And I'm just scanning for her 18-year-old son. I'm just scanning. I have her permission. There we go. Am I 19? Am I Michael? Am I Daphne? Am I the son? Am I 17, 18? So... I'm just going to keep my shoulders here. So I'm 18 years old, and I'm all the questions, Don, as our friends, you know, they're all yes or no, and we ask a lot of questions, not even out loud. So I'm still connected. I'm an 18-year-old son. And um, what is my daily average level of the sensation of an anxiousness about anything and everything? What's the daily average from 1 to 10? Is it over 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? Is it over 10? No. Is it under 10? No. It's 10. It's a 10. That's a lot. The daily average is 10. And right now, doing what I'm doing, is it a 10? Right. So I have this constant anxiousness about everything and anything. Okay. And so I'm just getting all the facts. Here's the most important question. Is this anxiety that I'm feeling, is it 100% emotions related? Yes. Is it 99% emotion related? It's 100 Okay, we're getting good. <laughs> it's like a video game. So we found that 100% of all this daily average level of anxiousness is caused by old unprocessed emotions. Here's the next question. How many? Under five? That's a yes. Over five? No. Under five, four, three, two. No, not under two, not over two, two. Okay, now I'm going to scan. I'm going to do it real fast. Okay, and I found them out of all those. I asked a lot of yes and no's pretty quick. And the first one is anxiety, and the second one's despair. They're in the same box, right, John? They're, they're like in the same neighborhood. So did I get these two emotions at the same time? Okay, good. Watch this, all yes or no questions. Uh, was I 18? 18, seven, these are no's. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. I was 12 years old. Was it on my birthday? And these were months. Was it 12.1.2.3.4.5.6.7? 12 years old, seven months. Did I have this experience? Did I absorb these were my own? So I had an event, 12 years old, six, 12 years old, six months. <laughs> However, you say that. 12.6 months old. I had an event where I had these two emotions, and these are both mine, yes. Okay, here, I'm going to delete the first one. Remember, I'm connected. I don't want to take it on. I'm deleting this emotion of anxiety when I was 12 years old range. Deleting this emotion of anxiety. Remember, the magnet's stronger than the emotion. The next one, I'm deleting this emotion of despair. Deleting this emotion of despair. I'm going to check my work now. You know, before today, what was the severity of this overall level of anxiousness about everything and anything? Was it 8, 9, 10? Is it 10 now? Is it 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2? Oh, a little bit left. How many emotions make this up? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, A. Is it column A? Is it despair? Is this my my dad's my mom's absorbed? Okay, so it sounds familiar, but it's a different emotion because did I pick this up from somebody else? Yes. Was it at the same event? So I was near somebody else during this event that was having some kind of like a trauma or severe despair, and I took on that energy? Yes. Okay, so how many swipes to get rid of it? Over 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. Deleting this absorbed despair at that same event. 
And John, are you finding someone to help? Not yet, no. Any other no. volunteers? Okay, so remember, I'm connected. Uh, now what is the severity of this overall level of uh, anxiousness or despair? It was 10. Is it 10, 9, 8, 7, it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It's a 0. Am I done? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect. Now, in a traditional session, the zero might mean that's enough for today, right? So in a traditional working with somebody, we would meet them the second time, and that would be the first thing we'd ask. Say, hey, how you doing? And they might say, you know what? It's down to like a two. You know, well, that's great news. And it just meant there was an emotion that didn't show up today. So the goal is always to reduce it significantly or delete it, period. But my hunch is it got deleted significantly. Remember, three anxiety style type emotions were within him and raising their head like little pimples every time he got triggered. So we'd love to hear back from you next week, Daphne, with the story on your 18 year old son who used to have anxiety. Thanks for volunteering. Okay, let's say hello to some more friends, John. Permelia. Permelia's here? Yeah, said hello to Permelia. There we go. Natasha Paul is with us. Okay, hey, we're looking for volunteers today. We want to help out. Now, we've dedicated the whole month to the subject. But we're like a good restaurant. If you don't like the special, we'll change it next week. So, <laughs> and, yeah. and uh, so Daphne, can you let us know if you knew if, about that event or if that kind of timing made sense a little bit? It could have been a big event or it could have been something on the playground, like, you know, that you never knew about. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. Okay. John, tell our friends, you know, they might think, do they only work with kids? Well, you know, John and I each have like a, a plan or we want to help plan. John, name about five or six things that you worked with last week just to give people some range about what we help people with. Um, what did I work with off the top of my head? You know, I'm not very good at recalling uh, money, actually a lot of money, uh, abundance, you know, scarcity mindset, that kind of thing, poverty um anxiousness headaches worked with um constipation yeah just to name a few yeah 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 i did a lot of business people this week you know deleting their heart walls with prospects and clients and and then they text me then email me and say well michael you'll never guess what happened and i always write back i'll never guess it but i'll believe it now let's check in with Cheryl Jones. I think we may be able to help her and see if it meets the condition here. Can you read that, John? Uh, hey, guys. Uh, my son is on the autism spectrum, but is a highly accomplished artist. He strongly resists any suggestion of how to turn his art into a business. Okay. I think the only thing we need to know is that are you as caregiver, or does he still live at home? Right, because if it's an adult son that's looking after himself or herself, then we wouldn't be able to connect. But if you're caring for them, this would be part of the care. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, that yeah, that's sort of my my you know my thing as well as you know to be kind of like 16, 17. Yeah, you know, eighteen would be. A bit. He, he might he might be applied. Yeah, he might be. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah what's the nature? That's an emotion, right? That's just blocking all of that. So. Yeah, absolutely. But let us know, Cheryl. We can help if uh, if he's living at home and you're his guardian or his mother, rather, and uh, right. as of age. Hey, we got uh, you know. Again, I worked with Daphne's 18 year old son earlier. I identified a time frame. There was emotions that happened that he held on to. That means he never cried or got off or got ticked off. He held them in, and now they're creating this anxiousness. And Cheryl, uh, Daphne, rather is saying um he was uh, oh there's in the front of the screen it was around when his dad left and we divorced so that could create despair right thinking you're losing your parents and huge stuff. absolutely absolutely yeah. huge event for sure so john i think it's safe to uh help cheryl jones's son maybe find out what's blocking uh, she's answered our questions there and um what's blocking him from feeling like 
he can exchange his energy apart from money or whatever that might be. For sure, yeah, sure. What's his name and age? That would help. Yeah. He lives at home and they provide for him. So there we go. I, I would say go ahead. You got permission and she's the guardian and he lives at home. Yeah, I'm just sort of, I'm setting up the intention in my head right now. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, that's all right. Um, but my style, I'd still uh, would help to have a name. Uh, Joe, age twenty-one. Thanks, Cheryl. There we go. So do a good connection here, Joe, and connect as a proxy, proxy, proxy. Yeah. Okay. So highly com accomplished artist strongly resists any suggestions of how to turn his art into a business. So, okay. So is there a trapped emotion associated with this resistance of turning art into a business or trading your time? Uh, yeah. Time and skills. For money. So there's a trapped emotion creating this resistance. Yes. Okay, call me. No. So be odd or even. So B3 is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, fourth one, fifth one. B3, fifth one is uh, stubbornness. Maybe a little bit. Need to know more. No. The emotion of stubbornness, which could make sense. Yeah. He's deleting it with the magnet. Yeah, it's been a little difficult. We all have one at least. Okay, another trapped emotion, Joe. Can identify and clear as a priority? Yeah. Okay. It's failure. Clear failure. It's cleared. Yeah. So it makes sense. these old emotions would make him not wanting to move forward, failing, you know, being stubborn yeah. and continuing on with the other ones too. Yeah. Just, yeah. Strong resistance. Yeah. Strong resistance. You know, turn your, your skills into a business, your art into a business. Yeah. Okay. Two, four. Uh, there's guilt. Clear guilt. Like feeling that, you know, you've done something wrong. I guess that could be like, it would be wrong to do this, you know, is, is wrong. That would well, be guilty, guilty to take money from someone for something that you love doing, right? Oh, no, I just, so I, yeah. it's like, very interpretive, right? Those emotions. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I trapped emotion, Joe? Yeah. Three or five. Self abuse. Clear self abuse. That's a negative self talk, you know, being hard on yourself. It's cleared. Being yourself yeah. up, being yourself. Another trapped emotion. It is shock. Clearing shock. It's released. Good, Joe. Another trapped emotion. Okay. Two, four. Uh, hatred, clear hatred, cleared. Okay, another trapped emotion, no. Okay, now what's the severity of the strong resistance to turn your art into a business? Uh, what's the severity? Is it at least a five, two, one, zero? We started at a nine. So I, I got zero for now. So yeah, um, see how that goes, Cheryl. And yeah. um yeah, that's an interesting one. Definitely come back, give us an update next week and see what you notice, what sort of shifts um, in Joe. Yeah, and the rule is with law of attraction is when the energy changes, then the results change. So that's what's, you know, he's going to start to attract things that are in alignment to this new vibe. And ideally, he'll have a new attitude and thinking, you know what, I can do this. But you'll let us know. We, we know that you'd like joining us. Okay, Sheldon Foster is saying hello. Cheryl did a great volunteer job. And Daphne, they gave us examples on how we can help your children at a distance. 
That's why it's called distance healing. So uh, we'd love to have you here today. And uh, leave comments even after the live event. Uh, we get to see those and check on those. John, we did it. We, um, we help people understand how the law of attraction works. We did two, sorry, emotion, uh, releasing negative emotions work. We did help two people volunteer. Uh, we helped two people that volunteered and uh, hope to hear from them in the future. Give us an update. Yeah, and hey, if you know um, some of your friends or family members, you know, have some, some kids, children, teens, uh, that could use the emotion code. Just let them know, tag them in this, send them a message to come next week and volunteer. Yes, we want to. Yeah, I, I think we should do another show on this and then uh, uh, maybe um, get some people to come in deliberately. Okay, John, if you want to put, oh, I'll do that for you. So I'm just going to put John's website. Uh, we have another volunteer here. Uh, Anne, Annie, uh, come back next week, Annie. And uh, same time, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. And we will uh, work on your son, Morgan. Yeah. yeah, I would choose one thing, and ideally it would be more than a quick session, Angie, Annie, rather. But come back with one thing, maybe, uh, maybe hygiene or eating or something like that. But um, well, yeah, just yeah, come back next week. Multiple sessions for that we can help with all of those items. Yeah, we want to demonstrate one thing to say. Okay, these guys really helped here. So uh, that's right. Yeah, cool. I know you don't. Well, he's in university too, so he's an adult. So dude, there's that too. Right. I, well, I have a different rule than you do. My rule: if the parents are looking after him, then they're looking after him. And if the parents are paying for everything, then then we're looking after them. Yeah, no yeah, I see that. That definitely for you know for Cheryl, I would see that. I definitely yeah. agree. Um, but um, yeah, it's yeah, not not so much for. Okay, you're allowed to have a different opinion than me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll work with Annie's son next week. I'll muscle yeah. to make sure it's okay, and if it is, then I'll help him. But I get that different different uh, beliefs and learnings is why for sure okay uh there we go john and michael we did a good job from natasha and sylvie wants to hear the results next week let us know what changes you notice from your kids next week okay john we are wrapping up today we'll be back next week so come back next week with uh, some friends that might have kids challenges and thinking listen you gotta check out these two guys they can help Okay, everybody, let's say goodbye. Episode number 238. Have a great week, everyone. See you.